welcome back to Miss Henrik's video demos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin spiced uh, muffins. So let's take a look at our mise en place. All right, so you will need some oil, which I have right here, uh, flour, and sugar. Um, we'll need some pumpkin. We'll use canned pumpkin and a little bit of salt, some baking powder and baking soda. And then our spices, we'll do some cinnamon and nutmeg, allspice, and some cloves. Okay. All right, start by preheating your oven. So 375 and then prepare your baking dish. So I'm gonna do the regular muffins and you can do the mini muffins since you have those pans. Um, you can use butter or cooking spray. It's a lot easier, faster. And if you had um, little cupcake liners, you could use those as well. So next you're going to, as usual, cream your fats and your sugars. So a one and a half cup of sugar and then your half cup of oil. And um, I'm not using the mixing, the mixer uh, because the oil is already liquid. So to save on cleanup, I'm just gonna use a bowl and a spoon. So you just wanna mix it really, really well, the, the oil and the sugar. You could use the mixer if you wanted, but it's a little easier cleanup. Okay, so now we're going to add our other wet ingredients, which include the eggs and the pumpkin. So, Crack your eggs one at a time. Make sure that you check them. And add them. Looks good. And then add your canned pumpkin. So you'll have to open up a can of pumpkin. Um, and I've measured out eight ounces, which happens to be a one full cup. Okay, scoop that out. And mix that together really well. All right, so I used a whisk to make sure that it was very, very well mixed. I'm gonna set that bowl to the side and get another bowl where you will measure out all of the dry ingredients separately. Okay, please make sure that you distinguish this step because this is the muffin method. Okay, so dry ingredients in a separate bowl. That's the flour, baking soda, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, cloves. So, here it is, and just so you know, I used my sifter for the flour um, just to make sure that the ingredients all mix and incorporate very evenly. Um, and that is because for the muffin method, you do a very, very uh, basic, simple mix. So we will start with just half. You can just eyeball it half of the dry ingredients, mix that together, and half of the water, like that. Do not over mix, please. And then the rest of our flour and water. Okay, and here's the crucial part of the muffin method is you only want to mix until it is just barely comes together and you'll see some clumps and that is intentional. So it's gonna be a lumpy batter. 
Okay, so it's very lumpy. That's perfect. Do not over mix. Okay, now that's all that's left is to portion out the batter evenly into your muffin pans. So you could be using the regular or to save some time, use the mini muffins. Um, so I'm using the large ladle. Oh, perfect. So it's not quite full, definitely not overflowing, maybe like almost three quarters full because it's gonna rise. And I uh, sprayed, oopsie, it's fine if a little gets over. I sprayed um, the ladle with the cooking spray so that the batter kind of slips out more e easily. All right, here they are when they're done. Remember that to test for doneness, your toothpick should come out clean or just a moist crumb. Um, so be careful touching this, it's very hot. Um, you can just let them cool for a minute and then empty them out onto Ooh, a cooling rack. Oh, there they go. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video demo. Thanks for watching.